Hello, everyone. I'm Lowell. I'm Dr. Tran. And I'm doc this is Dr. Tran from Chalk Children's Hospital. And she's going to give me a tour of the brain. All right. So let's enter this brain, all right? So as you enter the brain, you see this right here? And you see this? These are called, these are, we think of it as membranes of the brain that kind of um, separates the brain and what, and uh, from different lobes, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then when you look down here, these are, this is called the circle of Willis. It comprises of the arteries are um, um, the blood vessels that deliver blood to the brain from the heart, all right? Yes. And so this is what called the um, circle of Willis. This blood that's delivered to the brain from the heart. And then you see these um, blue looking things, okay? These are called veins, all right? So after blood is delivered to the heart, um, to the brain from the heart, the brain uses the oxygen. And then you have what, you have, um, after the oxygen has been used up by the brain, the blood kind of turns a little blue and it becomes goes into um, veins, which then are the blood vessels that will move blood out, out of the heart, out of the brain, back to the heart to pick up more oxygen for the brain. Okay. All right. And as you go through more, you see these bumps, right? So these bumps are, we call it gyrides of the brain. And then we're going into these things right here. These are called neurons, okay? So these are a picture of what a neuron looks like, what a, what a neuron looks like. And in the middle part is called the cell of the neuron. Think of it like the center of the neuron. And then branching from it are the, the messages that the neuron delivers out to other parts of the brain. It carries the messages. Exactly. Okay. And it typically connects to each other. Alrighty. So these neurons typically connect to each other and form chains. And that's how information is delivered from one area of the brain to other parts of the brain and then to the rest of the body through the spinal cord and peripheral neurons. Alrighty. Um, as we go through this part of the brain back here, it's called the parietal lobe. So let's talk about the lobes. So brain's considered, it's divided into different lobes. And depending on which lobe you're talking about, it controls what part of the body, what, what the lobe functions as, okay? So in, the, in this area right here, typically it's a temporal lobe. And temporal lobe is the part of the brain that controls language and memory, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. what, what we just passed through is a frontal lobe. And frontal lobe tends to control things like executive planning things, we have to plan things, Pay attention to it, you can plan something, behavior, and whatnot. So that's what the frontal lobe does. This area right here is called parietal lobe. Parietal lobe typically, like, it's called like association, right? You can associate, connect everything together. The musical part, the artsy part that connects everything together. And then the back part of the brain is called the occipital lobe. Consider that the visual system, the visual center of the brain, okay? Because when the eye see things, it has to interpret what it sees. And so information is sent from the eye, the optic nerve from the eyeballs through these little neurons here, all the way back to the back part of the brain, the occipital lobe, to process what am I looking at? And after it processes it, it sends information back through some of these neurons to say, hey, parietal lobe, remember, and then temporal lobe, hey, remember this? This is what it is. And so that's a little bit of what we're seeing right here in this little big part of the brain. It's like communication. Exactly. Okay. This is how brains communicate with each other. So these little neurons right here. That's great. Yeah. And as we go over, so we're on one side of the brain called the left side. Okay. So then we step over here is the right side of the brain. And so on the right side of the brain, um, we have the temporal lobe is the most different, right? The left side of the temporal lobe typically controls language. Alrighty. So if you're, are you right-handed? I'm okay, so your language center is going to be in the left temporal lobe area. Okay. Um, probably 95% of people, um, language center is on the left side, left temporal lobe. Right? Um, some people, though, the right temporal lobe is only um, functions for memory, but um, sometimes it can control um, language and speech, but typically it's in the left temporal lobe. Gotcha, right? okay. And then as we exit more, we're going now into the right frontal lobe here. Similar. Um, attention, planning, you have to pay attention so you can plan. Like, for example, you're probably planning, what am I doing this coming weekend, right? right. So you have to mm -hmm. pay attention so you can plan what you're doing this coming weekend. That's where this frontal lobe comes into play. Right. And as we come out, this is the other part. And that's a brief overview of the brain. How's that? That's amazing. Yeah? Any questions? No, I, I like the way it all comes together because it looks like everything is communicating with one another. Absolutely. Right. It's all interconnected, right? So. And now, the neurons carry uh, energy, and well, it carries chemical and electricity. Is that correct? Okay. So the 
brain works on electricity, there's brain activity, electrical mm -hmm. activity, right? So um, the brain, um, these neurons, has different um, channels and have different molecules that make, ener that make electricity. Right. And so you have a certain type of normal electricity that makes normal brain activity. Now, when this electrical activity is abnormal and it becomes um, very hyper excitable, that's what causes a seizure. So a seizure is a period where there's abnormal brain activity and it's not brain activity you want to have. And so when you have abnormal brain activity, you can cause, you can cause a seizure. And when you have a tendency to have repeated bouts or repeated episodes of abnormal electrical brain activity, you have epilepsy. So epilepsy means you have a tendency to have seizures, which means you have a tendency to have, your brain has a tendency to have abnormal electrical activity, and therefore it interrupts normal brain activity. Kind of like a thunderstorm or yes. in the brain? Okay. Yeah, in a way I kind of um, explained to my parents like, so how do we understand brain activity? How do we understand, is there a way that we can understand the electricity in the brain? There is, that's called an EEG, or an electroencephalogram, alrighty? And we put stickers, electrodes on the brain, and we measure this electrical activity. And there's abnormal, there's normal activity. But when we see abnormalities, that's like a scope, right? Okay. So, when you're walking through the woods, when you see scope, what are you afraid of? Fire. Exactly. Okay. So think of it as a seizure is a fire. Alrighty. When we see these abnormalities on the EEG, we're saying, oh, that's a smoke. We are, we are concerned this brain has a tendency to make fires or it has a tendency to have seizures. So when we see these smokes or these abnormalities, we want to make sure we keep it under control. We, when you see smoke, what do you do? You put it out, yes, right? You put that, yes. dirt on it, you mm -hmm. put water on it, you try to put it out, right? Yes. That's the whole point of medication. That's the whole point of treatment, okay? Treatment is a form of putting the smoke or control the smoke so it doesn't become a fire. It's a way for us to control these abnormalities so this or these um, electrical activity so it does not become a seizure. Right? Okay. And so, because what? why do we treat seizures? What happens to a fire in a, in a forest when it has a fire? It grows. Yeah, it grows or it can burn down trees, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the trees get, um, can the, the trees die, yes. right? That's what happens. When you have a seizure and it's not controlled and it goes a long time, it can cause brain death, cell death. See these neurons right in here? Yes. Uh -huh. Those neurons, if it, these, these neurons, if you're in a seizure and it goes on and on and on for, and on and you don't control it, it's like a fire going out of control. They can kill trees. They can kill the seizure. The prolonged seizure can kill these neurons. That's why we want to treat and control seizures. Dr. Chen, we appreciate the information. That was yeah, great. No thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am.